Hey, good day. This is a short tutorial on how to utilize um, your settings in Zoom. Uh, by the way, I'm using Screenomatic, which is a great screen capturing app, which I'll show later on how you can utilize it. Uh, in this case, I've chose to capture just my screen, no image of me like you may see in Zoom, <clears throat> just the audio. So as you uh, Go to zoom.us. Um, really what I do is after I've probably logged in and you know this is your account, I click on the icon upper left hand corner zoom. And I like to scroll over to the right hand corner under my account. So if you click under my account, you should have all the major um, information about your account, whether it's a pro account, um, the number of capacity you can meet, kind of gives you some feedback. Double check to make sure that syncs. Uh, if some of you have the use, excuse me, the free account you're going to be limited to the amount of time and people you can meet with um, become so make sure that obviously check with Alex that uh, you're good to go which I know all of us are <clears throat> excuse me um, um, just some little features I'll go over much later but today is really just looking at how do I set my polls I'm looking to create a poll for my meeting coming up so we can all find that toggle switch over here on settings on the left hand side click on settings and uh, under your meeting settings, a whole plethora of um, choices um, that you can choose from could be quite overwhelming, but just kind of start from the top. And as you scroll down, there's just look at the top bold um, highlighted areas. This one says schedule meetings. So if you look at your settings and break them down into a basic meeting information you want from chat lines, you can uh, close that I mean if some of you feel like hey uh, kids are talking keep them off just toggle that switch off um, maybe they're not on task whatever it may be but I'm just scrolling down here till I find polls okay we want to add a poll to our meeting control it's as simple as toggling toggling the switch over should get an icon up here at the top says your setting has been updated so that has put the polling option on my zoom so what I like to do from here it's already been saved there isn't a update settings on the bottom um, you can just scroll the very top uh, in my case I'm gonna go back to my webinar which is on today um, oh yeah stay healthy helpful and calm and just click on my hyperlink to launch my webinar um, and as we will mention in today um, there's my camera Looking straight down. So I've hooked up my camera. <laughs> um, not really. I'll just put it up here for now. Um, and if you scroll on the bottom, I'll just kind of stop the video here for a little bit just to show you along the bottom. Um, if I did not click, and I should have did this video without um, the polling, and so you could see it before and after. But uh, this video was just to create, just to show you how to create a poll, how to make sure it's good to go in your settings. So... From here, I'm just going to click on the poll. Um, keep in mind, if you do this while your students are on board, they won't see this action. So if you're, you got this serendipitous moment where, gosh, you know, let's get some feedback before the end of this webinar. Uh, I've done that once. So uh, maybe just turn the, 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 the table over to some students and then try to quickly generate one. But not really suggested doing, but I have done it. So, so I want to add a question. In this case, it's going to launch you, as you can see in the screen, back to your settings screen or back to, I call it the home hub. Um, and not so much your Zoom link, but takes you back home because you will be able to query these or um, have them to pull up in later options or later times. So um, I like kind of my question is the same as my title. So um, I'm just going to do something quick. How, uh, how are you feeling? I know we've had already had uh, a questionnaire that went out but for now I just you know you could probably title these uh, social emotional uh, academia physical whatever your needs are or what you're desiring and then you can kind of um, house them that way but uh, for now I'm just gonna make my title the same as my question I copy that control C if you have a Mac control V and paste the question um, Really just looking for, in this case, multiple choice. Um, you know, um, I am fair to partly cloudy. Oops, you don't need an L in there. Have a little uh, 
meteorology weather metaphor, bright and sunny. Uh, maybe dark and gloomy. And um, well, we already had fair to partly cloudy. Um, maybe just kind of an average day. Um, well, let's just keep three options. Uh, don't feel too creative early this morning, so I'm going to keep it three options and just double check. You have a multitude of options. Uh, looks like it goes up to 10. You can even you can create a, a numerous polls here too if you want to add a question. I'll just click on that. Um, you can see there's number one question, how are you feeling? Number two, you can just kind of, now you can see where classification or titling these comes into play. Um, now you can click on an additional question so it lets you know that hey you haven't completed poll two so you could really plan your your webinar your care groups uh, strategically you can set out your polls for the day for the week um, so a lot of cool options here where um, you could just toggle and choose it I'm gonna show you that in just a moment um, I'm just gonna type in some data just to have a Go down here and save just so we can see that we have saved that. Um, that's a pretty pathetic question. Let me just have, at least I have, just type in some intel just to show you. You can pull up a variety of uh, polls when we get to that. Save. And then in this case, you can see uh, I have poll one, how are you feeling? Now remember, this is all the polls I put under one classification. So maybe in this case, I want to have three polls for the day or maybe one a day. Um, you can go back and say, whoops, I want to rechange or re-edit that. You can hit the edit button and it launches you back. So in this case, I'm going to go back to my webinar, back and join my students. So I'm going to drop this down and go back. Let me put my camera back on um, and show you a little bit what students may see. Okay, um, in this case, I'm just going to launch my poll, and this is what um, you see. In this case, um, the students will pop up, obviously, it gives them a time. I, I don't know right now if you could set a time for this. Um, in this case, I have all three polls up here in front of them. They can log in. You can't, uh, what I found out, you can't really submit your, uh, I wish I could show the, you, the, the student view in this case but uh, you do have controls students don't see this popping up there you just kind of end the poll and i think as we know already you can get immediate feedback and then you can share the results for your group and so this would be shared with your entire team so we can stop share um, close out your poll we did a poll so much more to that and more options too um, let me just stop the screen share a little bit or the video but um, how to toggle turn on your polls or to find them in your settings um, just once again uh, i'm going to take you back to the beginning walk you through real quickly go over to my account the upper right hand corner scroll down the settings and as you can see in our videos to come there'll be uh, many more options to put on your pro account which most of us have that's a short eight minute video um, hope this has been helpful now i'm going to figure out how to stop the screen share and let me know if you have any questions